All right guys, we just got finished making three pizzas. So stay tuned because we're back and we're making pizza again on the uni oven. Let's do this. So I, I took some feedback from all of my viewers and they were kind of mocking me about using scissors. Uh, so I got this thing right here. It's called a Kitchen Star. And check out the affiliate link if you want to buy this because it cuts pretty well, but I'll, I'll demonstrate that throughout this video. But yeah, I really like the Kitchen Star. It's great for cutting pizza. So far I've used it mostly for cutting Costco pizzas, like the big thick deep dish ones. And it does a great job. I mean, I can just easily just cut and cut. And it's not even really sharp. It's not razor sharp or anything like that. It's just, you know, just dense and good for cutting. temperature is at 700 so I can go ahead and start making my pizza but what I want to do right now is I want to actually lay down some semolina flour so semolina flour is what I have right here I do need quite a bit of it so I'm gonna start pouring it onto the countertop I'll be pretty generous with it right now because we're gonna be making quite a bit of pizzas so the dough that we're using, which is the main component for making the pizza, is from Central Market. I'm gonna get that dough out right now. So this dough has been sitting in the fridge overnight. Uh, we bought it yesterday and I believe it's now ready. It's definitely sticking to this. Maybe I need some lean on my hands. Cause this is sticking very well. All right, now we gotta coat both sides of the bowl. And now we just Start working our way out. So we've been making pizzas for quite a while now. We usually make our own dough, but this time we decided to go ahead and you know get the pre-made dough and get started again. It's actually been a while since we've made pizza. So we're getting back into it. I promise guys, we will get back into making the poolish. But for now, we're just taking it easy and making ourselves dinner. I got the sauce, I got some cheese on it, but now I got to sprinkle more cheese on it. I'm gonna put some mozzarella on it too. So I'm gonna be pretty generous with the, with the cheese. It's gonna be a two cheese pizza, which is pretty good. Now, I will say in previous videos, people have said that the cheese burns. Uh, yes, it does. So this cheese is, you know, has sawdust on it. We didn't grate it ourselves. So yes, your cheese, your cheese is gonna burn a little bit, but that's perfectly fine. I mean, I don't mind it so much. A massive pizza <laughs> and here we go all right here's our first pizza and it is beautifully cooked perfectly cooked even the crust on the bottom got cooked all the way so I'm excited for this one all right so the next pizza that we're about to make actually pays tribute to a pizza company in Austin Texas called Pine House Pizza. Now the base of it is gonna be olive oil, and then I'm gonna take some mascarpone and I'm going to add cilantro and salt to the mascarpone, mix it all in, add that on top as well. And then I'm gonna put some bell pepper and sausage on it. And believe me, this is really good. So what they call this uh, at Pine House Pizza is the armadillo. And I recently heard the, that the armadillo is now gone. I hope that's not true because that is one of my favorite pizzas. Okay. All right, now we got the very last pizza, which is the armadillo, our makeshift one. And we're popping it in the oven right now, which the stone is at a whopping 720 degrees on the bottom. In the back, it's 800 degrees. So this is a pretty hot stone right now. Even though the ambient temperature is at 643, it's cooking perfectly well. You 
Maybe too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe too much on that. We tried to leave it in for 40 seconds, it got a little burnt. That's okay. We've been there for a little bit longer and let it cook. All right, so now I'm gonna cut into the first pizza and I'm gonna use my Kitchen Star. So this is something I've not used yet on the channel, but it's pretty simple to use. You just press it down and cut. And it perfectly cuts the pizza in half. Yeah, there we go. I like it though. I like it a lot. All right, so now I'm gonna try this piece. You wanna try it? That is definitely a recreation of it. That is so good. All right, now I'm cutting into the pepperoni. I'm glad this thing's definitely long enough to cut through all this. I know they do make them in different sizes. I don't know if this is the longest one or not. And hopefully I can link it and show you guys which one I got. Because it's a good buy. Definitely a good buy. Cool. All right. I'm going to try a piece. Jalapenos make it taste really good. I like the flavor of it. All right, guys. So this pizza turned out great. We love the uni oven. We're gonna keep on using it, so stay tuned for more videos. Uh, we're still trying to become pros at it, but we're learning a lot. So one thing I just realized uh, from Celeste is that you really do have to let that pizza sit for a little bit longer and only turn it a couple times. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys liked it, please be sure to like and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next video.